So extending the validator like this is absolutely fine if you've got one or two uh, rules that you need to add. But if you have, say, lots of custom rules or the custom rules that you do have have a lot to do inside of the closure, you probably want to move these over to a class. And this is really, really simple, actually. So let's go and just create a folder in here. Uh, these aren't te technically rule objects, so I'm not going to put these inside of a rules folder. We'll get to that a little bit later. If I'm doing something like this, I prefer to call these validators because they're technically just a class that validates something. They're not a rule object. They don't deal uh, with anything else but providing a single method to place into the uh, validation the extension. So I'm going to call this password validator. And we're going to go ahead and just map this class out real quick. So password validator. And let's go ahead and pull the namespace in for this. So that's just app and validators. Great. So inside of here, we need one method. And we need to give this a method called validate, like so. Let's go ahead and return false from here. And let's come over to our app service provider cut this out so we can pop it back in easily in a minute and replace this closure with the uh, path the namespace path to this class which is just password validator and then class and we can just go ahead and pull this in at the top so that's going to do exactly the same thing let's go and type in an incorrect password and you can see we get current password is wrong so it's still uh, giving us back exactly what we want course at the moment we are manually returning false which is not what we want so let's import hash and we still get exactly the same uh, parameters through exactly the same parameter list through as we did before but now we have this in a class so if you need to do anything uh, if you have some way of determining if which user you want to pluck out you know this is a kind of uh, contrived example but you might have protective methods in here that you want to define you might have anything in here you may even want to inject things in in which case you would new this class up and pass this in that's going to work in exactly the same way so let's just have a look at doing that and passing that in and going ahead and entering an incorrect password you can see it works in exactly the same way so if you wanted to inject dependencies into this you now could and it just works a little bit nicer and like i said if you've got lots of extensions now these aren't going to look as bad because you've got them tucked away inside of classes now when you've outgrown extending the validator that's when you want to move over to a rule object which is a much more flexible way and a much nicer way if you want to inject dependencies within your controllers particularly uh, they're a nicer way to go so we're going to move over and look at rule objects in the next part